Okay, so today we're gonna to show you how to install your dual inline TDS monitor. This is for any of our Stealth models. We're gonna show you how to put it onto a Stealth 150, but it works with any of the Stealths. So the first thing that you wanna do is take these white sensors and install them into the corresponding T's. So you're gonna have your end monitor. This monitor is the, uh, the PPMs of the water just coming right out of the tap. That goes into the 3 8 T because 3 8 is the size of a feed line for your stealth. And then the out monitor monitors the PPMs of your RO water. The RO water line on a stealth is quarter inch, so we're going to use the quarter inch T for that. And now the next step is to turn off your source water. All right, so now that we got our source water turned off, I'm going to go ahead and mount this next. All of the TDS monitors come with Velcro on the back, so you can mount them anywhere you want. I'm gonna mount mine on the bracket of the Stealth RO right here. It makes the most sense. Now, install your T-sensors. The N, again, is for your feed water on your Stealth, so anywhere on this 3 8 white line between your Stealth and your source water, you can install this sensor. I'll just go ahead and make a cut right here. And then you want to do the same for your out sensor, which again measures the PPMs of your RO water. So you want to install that somewhere between the system and your inline shutoff valve. And that's it. Once you've installed your sensors, you can turn the source water on and your monitor is ready for use.